In my printing scenario, I managed to persevere and deal with significant resistance and rejection. All rational data supported the fact that we made the right decision. And moving forward to implementation was the next logical step. The rollout went ahead as planned, and we started to see immediate savings and increase in efficiency. But what troubled me, as much as the initial staff and faculty resistance, was a lack of confidence and conviction many of my managers and co-leaders demonstrated, and the fact that some of my staff actually attempted to sabotage the project rather than deal with the discomfort of change. In this module, you will learn how Friedman recommends that we push past the imaginative gridlock and adopt the same spirit of adventure that was responsible for the growth of the Western world and become self-differentiated leaders who demonstrate the following characteristics. A capacity to get outside the emotional climate of the day. A willingness to be exposed or vulnerable. Persistence in the face of resistance and downright rejection. Stamina in the face of sabotage along the way. And a perception by others with less resolve as being headstrong. Self-differentiated leaders, non-actious response to resistance to change and toleration of other people's discomfort with change have the effect of diffusing the anxiety within the organization, allowing it to develop and implement organizational change strategies in a healthy way. You will learn how to be a self-differentiated leader who can address the inevitable resistance to change that will occur when launching innovative digital learning initiatives. Finally, in this module, you'll take your accumulated work and compile a web-based resource that will organize and present your organizational change strategies and provide a resource for you and your organization as you start to implement change. Remember, the head won't go where the heart hasn't been. So start with a clearly defined why. To change vital behaviors, you need to address all six sources of influence. Don't forget the fact that you live in a whirlwind of your daily life, so conduct one or two changes at a time. And keep a scorecard because what gets measured gets done. Finally, work at developing the characteristics of a self-differentiated leader so that you can have the stamina and the resolve to keep moving forward in the face of resistance. Your learners deserve this commitment and effort.